Ah, uh, the garden, my true home. This which grows before me understands me. It nourishes me. Breathe deep, my friends. Drink up the sunshine. What are you doing in my yard? I'm doing my garden thing. Yeah, this isn't your garden. This is my garden. Oh, thank God. I found him. Oh, boy. He's gone off the rails again. Welcome, my friends, to the garden for film lovers. PJ, do you know what's going on right now? The award show. We need to go. Oh. OK. Okay, come on everybody, line up! You too, Garrick! throughout the evening today to help give some of the awards and talk a little bit about who they are. Um, but we should, we should move on. I love our sponsors. I love them. Real talk. Real talk for just a second. Remember that no matter who does or doesn't get an award here tonight, I mean it when I say you are a winner if you made a movie. That's what I mean. After tonight, go and share your movie with everyone that you can. Find your audience and grow it. That is the most important thing that you can do. So, grow your audience. If you win something here tonight or you are nominated, I really hope that it helps you uh, just continue to grow. Um, remember, a lot of films didn't win at the 48, and then they went on to win awards at other festivals and do really, really great. And that happened to me, and it could happen to you. So don't give up on your movie. Never, never give up on your movie. Okay. 51 films were completed. 44 of those were on time. Those seven. Oh, those seven. I love those seven films. Just as much, you know, they were late. They, they, maybe they made an error or they scratched by choice because they wanted to turn in something that was even better. But I, they were all really, really cool movies. And so here's some recognition for those lovely folks who worked so hard but broke the rules. <laughs> the Rule Breaker Award, that's right. Now, the Rule Breaker Award is not given by the judges. It is given by me and the volunteers who help do the 48 that are not affi affiliated with the film. So, like our massive awards, Leah. So, the nominees are for the Rule Breaker Award. 
spectacular optical for whale pod. Bad date for Buck Nark and Starfish. Chaotic moon for tone depth. And inbox zero for Operation Songbird. Ooh, I need an envelope. I need an envelope. Is there an envelope? There isn't, is there? No, not for this one. No envelope. Oh, just an award. And the winner is Bad Date for Black Mark and Starfish. Bad Date for New River. Black Mark and Starfish. Are you in the house? I guess they didn't make it on time. <laughs> I'll make sure they get the award, though. Okay, um, I want to take this section uh, to give it up for Paul Martinez and Cabo Nightclub because they paid, they, they sent me money so that we could have all of these physical awards. They actually cost money. We, these awards get made by Pittsburgh Trophy in Pittsburgh. We get them made there every year. They've made them for a long time. So please give it up to Paul and Pittsburgh Trophy. Now, let's move on to the audience award. Now, as many of you know, you know, I, I love our judges. They're amazing, but... I'd like to know what the audience thinks. Did they love our movie, right? So uh, we had four screening blocks, and in each of those blocks, the audience voted for their favorite three films. And so I'm going to tell you first, the runners-up for each of the four blocks. Runners-up, I do have a certificate for you. You can come up and gather your certificate. So our runners-up for audience choice, there are four of them. Group A, runner-up, Lincoln Park for Trixie and the Devil's Book. Lincoln Park, are you in the house? What's your name? You want to say anything? Okay. Great, you made it. Thank you. Next step, Group B, runner-up. Carnegie Screenwriters for I Went My Plan. I have a certificate for you. Carnegie Screenwriters, are you in the hands of Just so you know, when you come up, this side has a very steep ramp and that side has stairs. There you go. Nice. Yes. Good thing running up. Blind Tiger Films for Throwing Shade. I present to you one certificate. That is very steep. You chose that manner. You wanted to come up. And Group D, runner up, everything but the name for Capitalism Wins. Edwin? Edwin? <laughs> oh, thank you. Of course. I like that tilt, sir. <laughs> so now we move on to the Audience Choice Award winners. Each one of these Audience Choice Award winners will receive not only their, um, their statue, but also a $250 rental certificate, good for two years, from Lightbulb Rental. Okay, Group A. We're getting our rhythm. And the winner is for Group A, Initiative, Gas Tape and a Prayer. Audience Choice Award winner. Let's see, let's see. Who was it? 
do what? Long live the LARPers bit size production. Group C, Audience Choice Award winners. Let's see who we got. Head Case, Conrad Studios. Thank you. Group D, Audience Choice Award winner. It's the end. The C47. He's coming. <laughs> Thank you, audience, for picking our film. And just a reminder, because last year somebody threw away their envelope that had a check in it, make sure you look inside your envelope. Okay. Great. Those were awesome. I love the audience. But we had incredible judges this year. Incredible judges. And so I would like to invite up our judges. I'm not sure if Melissa Martin is in the house, but I know Kara Freeze and Nancy Moss are here. So please come up. Come on up. Watching all of them, it was enjoyable, but challenging to uh, kind of discuss and figure out who's the winners. And, but overall, everyone should be proud because what you made in 48 hours is incredible. Um, and thank you, TJ, for having me to be a part of this this year. And I hope everyone, just like TJ says, put your film out there, no matter what happens tonight, because all of you did amazing work, and you should be so proud of yourself. So thank you. 
Nancy, Nancy, one, one thing. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right. Now, what did they choose? What did they say? I want to know. All right. The next award that we're going to give is the best use of Pittsburgh. Locales and culture as a character, right? And this award comes with a friend of the film office membership and a t-shirt from the Pittsburgh film office. So, our nominees are. Oh, yeah, it's gonna happen. This is gonna be a slideshow. Okay, great. The nominees for best use of Pittsburgh are the Film Corps for Out with a Bang. <laughs> Blind Tiger Films for Throwing Shade. Jeff's favorite for Lily. Exodus Media Group for Bro Trip. And Steel Heart Films for The Rose. And even though I got my envelope too early, um, Let's see who the winner is. The Film Corps, out with a bang. I just want to say, come on, he did an amazing job. Everyone give a round of applause to PJ! Okay, next up is the special award for youth of diversity and belonging. For this award, I would like to invite up Heather Gray from Silent Visual Media. Heather has a statement that she would like to give to you with my help. Hello, I'm Heather Gray with Silent Visual Media, a two-thirds deaf-owned production company that aims to make content for and by filmmakers in traditionally marginalized communities. Scientastic, our game show with America's first deaf host, Dan Cook, will be streaming this fall. Visit our website for more information about our productions and our growing equipment rental opportunities through my company, Beautiful Hand Creatives. Today, we are offering $200 as a special award for youth of diversity and belonging. And then she writes down below here, you matter, be a unicorn. <laughs> That's for me, I'm a unicorn. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. And the nominees are? Learning level for Steven. Steelheart Films for The Rose. Paper Street Productions for Mind Over Medicine. The Prism Perspective for Binding Souls. And Kappa for The Last Leaf.
and the winner is. Paper Street Productions for Mind Over Medicine. Awesome, Heather. Awesome, you guys. Paper Street, yeah. Okay, next up, Best Women-Led Film. I would like to invite up Sarah Brunner, representing Women in Film Pittsburgh. Women in Film and Media Pittsburgh, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm on the board of directors of women of the Pittsburgh chapter of Women in Film and Media, and I'll be representing the board this evening. Women in Film and Media, or WIPM as I like to call it, is a nonprofit, membership-based organization whose mission is to improve the portrayal of women in film and other screen-based media. We also aid in facilitating access to opportunities in the industry through mentoring and training workshops for in front of the camera as well as behind the scenes. We also lend our services to other nonprofit organizations who help women and children. If anyone has any further questions about the organization, I'll be hanging out after the ceremony. Feel free to ask me, or if you're just too tired but you still have questions, feel free to email us at info at wifmpit.org, and that's W-I-F-M-C-I-T, only one T. So, the award. The award I'll be giving today on behalf of WIFM is a check for $200 going to the best woman-led film who portrayed our mission statement the best by presenting women in a positive light while avoiding any physical or sexual violence. And so, without further ado, the nominees are... The nominees are, right? Carnegie Screenwriters for I Wet My Plan! Bit Size Productions for Long Live the Larpers! Three BT Productions for Maria. Kappa for the last leaf. The Film Corps for Out with a Bang. And WC Titan Productions for Be Careful. And the winner is. Can I just say bad bitches are tall as hell? I'll say I'm a producer on the film, and both of my daughters were in it, and it was great for them to see their mom and be led by a female director, another female producer, female lead, female editor, female uh, scripty, female photographer on set. So, thank you so much. Thank you all so much. My advice is join women in film. Next up, Best Student 48. The winner of this will receive, along with the statue, $100 from Film Pittsburgh. Wu is right. 
and a, an individual life learner account for filmmaking courses or a six-month free educational license allowing 40 students and two teachers access to the Edit Mentor curriculum. Both of those options are from Edit Mentor. So, pretty cool. The nominees are Lincoln Park for Quincy and the Gators book. Ankle Biters for The Arrival. Learning Level for T-Binge. Just Favorites for Lily. WC Titan Production for Be Careful. And Good One Media for Vanish Point. And the winner is WC Titan Productive B Fable. participate in the 48, uh, mostly in the horror, so super excited that we were able to participate in this one, and thanks everybody for your support. When I decided to go to film, film school, I got a lot of hate from all my friends, and they said I would never be successful. And today, this just proves everyone wrong, so thank you. Next up, best song. The best song award comes with a prize pack of all flavors from Blind Tiger Spirit Tree Cocktail. And the nominees are Zach Leia and Benjamin Carlucci of Big Size Productions for Long Live the Larpers. Kelsey Heller, Brandon Keller, Kelsey Keller, Brandon Keller, Chad Hoffman, and Amanda Hoffman of Brian Tiger Films for Hats. Corey Dixon of Sneaky Girl Films for Broken Hearted Melody. And the winner is. Zach Lea and Benjamin Carlucci, this time's production, Long Live the Lepers. Thank you. Next up, best original music. This also comes with a prize pack of all flavors from Blind Tiger Spirit Free Cocktail. And the nominees are Michael Logaricchio of Best Favorites for Lily. Diego R. Guzman of Conrad Studios for Headcase. Kirk Bartula of Carnegie Screenwriters for I Wet My Plan. Zach Leia of Big Size Productions for Long Live the Larpers. Jenny Hanna and Magdalena Jadel of Lincoln Park for Sex and the Devil's Book. 
and John Hoffman, Corey Reese, Kelsey Keller, Brandon Keller, Amanda Hoffman, Lisa Papperbrook, and Ted Larson of Blind Tiger Films for throwing shade. And on us! Zach Leah. First place production. Where are you going to go? Thank you. Okay, that sound design. This comes with a prize pack of all flavors from Blind Tiger Spirit Free Cocktail. The nominees are Michael Rodriguez of Best Favorite for Willie. Conrad Perez of Conrad Studios for Head Case. Ryan Ott of the C47 for The End. Sydney Prince of Lucky, Lucky Stainless Productions for Monkey Business. Susanna Kornucci of Buckstar Productions for World Web Developers. And Scott Danzig of Sneaky Ghost Films for Phantom Ukulele. And the winner is. We can call it the best production long live the lovers. Oh, thanks. You guys must have really liked how that sounded. Um, all right. I'm Susanna's husband, and she's not here. Will you indulge me and on three yell, good job, Susanna? One, two, three. All right, stay hydrated. <laughs> Next up, best use of computer effects. Ooh. This comes with a $50 uh, cash prize from Confluence Production. The nominees are Grant Pixla of Conrad Studios for Headcase. Mike Hanley of Gas Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. Blaine Miller of the C47 for the end. Samat Kumar of Experimental Productions for Turning Point. And Anthony Holdsworth of IO Films for Nixon. And the winner is. Mike Hanley got to open a prayer. I missed it all. Editing along with the uh, with the statue comes with a free copy of DaVinci Resolve Studio from Cabo slash Paul Martinez and all the courses that Edit Mentor offers free, which is worth about eight hundred dollars.
The nominees are Bill Lyon of Gas Tape and a Prayer for an Initiative. Conrad Brad for I can say this. I can speak. Conrad Braz of Conrad Studios for Hepkins. Nathan W. Fullerton of Everything But the Name for Capitalism Wins. Ryan Ott of the C47 for the end. Ken Langrover and Tom Madden of the Asylum for Epilogue. And the winner is Ryan Ott, the C47 for the end. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. This is very exciting. Thank you. Next award, Best Use of Line. If you remember, the line was, do you think I'm stupid or do you think I am stupid? Well, thank you. Thank you. I should tell you, that's the line that my mother often would say to me. Which is why I included it. Um, so, this comes with a $100 prize from Confluence Productions. The nominees are Sneaky Ghost Films for Phantom Ukulele. Lincoln Park for Christy and the Devil's Book. And the C-47 for the end. And the winner is... Sneaky Ghost Film, Phantom Ukulele. Next up, best use of prop. Remember, the prop was a cup of tea, which is what I drink when I go see my mom, which is why we included it. Um, this award comes with a $100 gift certificate from Construction Junction, which is a great place to buy props and set dressing, if you didn't know. And $50 from Confluence Productions. And the nominees are Conrad Studios for Headcase. Everything but the name for Capitalism Wins. Lincoln Park for Trixie and the Devil's Book. Jetpack Shark for Dad's Favorite. And Good One Media for Vantage Point. And the winner is Conrad Studios for Headcase.
thanks. It was a great prop. Next up, best use of character, which is based on my mom, by my mom, that's my mom. I love my mom. And my stepfather, Bucky Kendall, who was an environmental investigator for the Department of Environmental Protection. The winner of this award will receive $100 from Confluence Productions. And the nominees are Carnegie Screenwriter for I Wet My Plan. The Film Corps for I Will The Bang. Everything but the name for Capitalism Wins. WC Titan Productions for Be Careful. Conrad Studios for Headcase. And Cast Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. Best use of character, and the winner is Conrad Studios for Headcase. Next up, the big one, that's writing. This, this comes with a $100 uh, cash prize from Confluence Productions. That's Confluence Productions, guys. Just so you know, Confluence Productions is in part, is in part, it's two guys, but it's Ted Haynes is one of those guys. And Ted Haynes has participated here in the Pittsburgh 48 several, several times. He's a great guy. So, yeah. The nominees for best writing are Jeremy Muffet of the C-47 for the end. Jenna Potts of Carnegie Screenwriters for I Wet My Plan. Conrad Perez of Conrad Studios for Headcase. Bill Ryan and Matt Provost the third of Jack David and Prayer for Initiative. Tom Madden of the Asylum for Epilogue. And Jess Bala, Nathan Fullerton, Edwin Hong, Robert Miller, and Bridget Yeager of everything but the name for Capitalism Win. And the award for best writing goes to Jeremy Muffet of the C-47 for the end. He's coming. He's coming. He's on his way. Without the cast and crew of the C-47, it's a three- or four-page script that collects dust on my desk. So thank you to you guys. Next up, it's time to give a little give a little love to those folks that make us look so good. I'm talking about this makeup and hair. Yes, this award is for best makeup and hair, beauty or effects. Right? There's a very different types of makeup, very and and they require unique skill sets. But because it's the 48, we're putting them both together. 
The winner of this award will receive a Ben Nye TV film makeup kit from Spotlight Costumes valued at $200. And the nominees are Abby Fultrante and Devin Chris, uh, Christman of Reckless Amnesiac for the Poor. Kelsey Mack and Audrey Kyle of Shady Acres for the Six. Jessica Bala of Everything But The Name for Capitalism Wins. Laura Rose of Gas Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. And Conrad Studio for Headcase. And the winner is. Jessica Bala, everything but the name. Capital is a man. Next up, best costuming. They also make us look so good, right? The best costuming award comes with a hundred dollar spotlight costumes rental gift certificate. Um, the nominees are Abby Moeller of the Bit Size Production for Long Live the Lovers. Robert Miller and Bridget Yeager of Everything But The Name for Capitalism Wins. Daniel Donahue and Tara Schnabel of Robot Monkey Studios for The Vernophile, Polluted Mind. And Laura Rose, Rick Bryant, and Erica Crenn of Gas Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. And the winner is Abby Moore, Best Size Productions, Long Live the Lappers. Next up is Best Lighting. I would like to invite up John Stephansis of uh, Simile to come and join us. Hi, everybody. My name is John Stephansis. Thank you very much, Andrew, for Simile. Lighting and grip house and expendable for us. So, um, we're in Lawrenceville, and what I've seen is great. So, Anybody that wants to come and visit us, I mean, we support Christmas here. Really. So you're always welcome, and we're here to support you in any way we can. So we're going to be giving out an award for best lighting, uh, $1,500 for a one-week run. Yeah. $1,500 rental certificate. Do you have your paper? Ah, yeah, right. Okay. We'll go back and forth for the nominees. Ready? These are the nominees. I'll go first. Yeah, go first. We got Hannah White of Jeff's favorite, Lily. <laughs> Alan Jaskiewicz and Ryan Krobus of the C-47s for the end. 
Okay, we got real the deal. Zach Sapolsky and Joseph Santucci of Woodland Films. So the water is fine. And Tim Davis, Tyler Kalinowski, Tyler Flamengala, and <laughs> Jameson Naminga of Shady Acres for the same. And the envelope, please. Fumble. This happened. Uh, and the winner is Alan Jaskowitz and Ryan Krobos of the C47 for the end. Nice. We had a camera, we had a couple of lights, and uh, a shit ton of magic. So I want to thank everyone. It was great. Thank you. Our next award is Best Cinematography. I would like to invite up Nathaniel Peters from Light Bulb Rental. Everybody, um, I am Nathaniel Peters. I'm the warehouse manager at Lightbulb Rentals. For those of you who don't know, he's also an incredible filmmaker, by the way. You humble me. So, uh, Lightbulb, formerly Resolution Rentals, we're in Carrick now. We have a huge space. We have tons of camera gear, tons of lighting gear, tons of production supplies. If you need anything to get your film off the ground, come see us. Obviously, in today's world. Everybody has a phone in their pocket, but having the right tools helps. So for everything that you need, like Bob Rental, it's a bright idea. I just came up with that. It's a pain. It's So with all that said, having the right tools helps. Um, in my hands, I have this fancy little certificate for a cinematography package here that's purposefully vague because everybody has different needs, but the most expensive thing you can take out is the Alexa Mini with Ultra Prime. So, you know. That's right. A weekend with an Alexa Mini and a set of Ultra Prime. Or whatever you need, you know. Yeah, you whatever you need. Yeah. I also have on, on the certificate that I have, it says you get a follow focus kit, too. Oh, no, it's everything. Oh, yeah, boy. And the nominees are the best cinematography. You want to go first? The instructions say you go first. Oh, great. Adam Porter, a big first production for Lord Like the Hyper. Mike Hanley of Gas Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. Kerrigan Kurt of Lucky Famous Productions for Monkey Business. Hannah Wyatt of Jeff's Favorites for Lily. Gabe Marchetti of Three Beer Lunch for 101 Ways to Kill Your Husband. And Alan Jaskowitz of the C-47 for the end. And the winner is... Alan Jaskowitz of the C-47 for the end. Do you We are moving right along. We're grooving now. We're grooving. All right. Next up, best choreography. Now, the way that 
the way that it says up there is best fight or dance choreography. That's how we keep track of it. It's actually best choreography. But we write that so that the judges know, well, it, it's not just dance. It's, for, it's fight choreography, too, because uh, that equally is, is difficult to do. And the nominees are Kara McKenna of Bit Size Productions for Long Live the LARPers. Adrian Weir of Three Beer Lunch for 101 Ways to Kill Your Husband. Cynthia Dallas of Carnegie Street Learning for Alpha My Plan. Haley Holmes and Agatha Levy of the Film Corps for I Live a Bang. And Joseph Bucci and Ian Altenbaugh of Reckless Amnesiac for the Poor. It's time. Yeah. I should say, I should say, this comes with a $50 prize, cash money, from Confluence Productions, but because there's two, I'll pay fifty dollars to make sure the other one got fifty bucks too. First time out, let's see who's in here. Karen McKenna, first time connections, one with the lovers. Be afraid to bust a move or swing a safe sword. Thank you. The judges were impressed, for sure, but equally impressed in. Dum, 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 dum. Haley Holmes and Agatha Levy for the film core, out with a bang. Out in the parking lot, I'll show you some choreography. All right, we're really getting into it now. Really getting into it. Okay, next up, we have some acting awards to give out. Are there any actors in the house? Is there a single actor here? Do any of you know how to act? Right there, I see one. I see one. I see one. Okay. For the actors, I got Video Me to give a free audition video package that includes 30 minutes in their studio, working with a studio manager on an audition, and basic editing included with that. So if you get, if you have to push your audition to the next level, you get a big opportunity. You can go to Studio Me. They asked me to read this, smor- this short statement. Located right on Penn Avenue in the heart of East Liberty, Studio Me's user-friendly studio spaces, equipment, and workstations can be rented hourly with a variety of add-on packages. Each studio is designed to streamline the production process so that anyone, regardless of their level of experience, can produce professional quality content. And the expert staff is always available to help you take your project to the next level. Yeah, studio me. Yeah, studio me. But wait, there's more. I also got Ensemble Actor Studio to give each actor that wins uh, the four awards of these four awards a free class, which is valued at like three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, Jamie Stavinsky, I don't think Jamie made it, but Jamie sent a video message, which we are going to play very briefly right now. 
Hey guys, I'm J.B. Slavinsky, the Artistic Director here at Ensemble Actors Studio, Pittsburgh's artistic home for the training and tools you need to be a working actor. We are thrilled to be able to award the Best Acting winners tonight with a free class at Ensemble. Everybody knows the best actors have two things in common. Great instincts and a solid technique. That is how you win shit like awards. We've got a full lineup of classes and workshops at the studio this summer starting June 19th. We want to thank PJ for including us in the Pittsburgh 48 Hour Film Festival family and we want to invite you all to come and be a part of the ensemble family as well. Come check out the studio, sit in on a free class and become the badassiest actor you can be. And of course, a big hearty Pittsburgh, and my God, congratulations Jins, guys to all of the nominees and award winners tonight, especially Shout out to Chris Seekings, our student here at Ensemble who just completed his very first Acting 101 class. How lucky are we that we get to be a part of a community of artists here in Pittsburgh that celebrates filmmaking like we do. Have a great night, everyone. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's start with Best Male Supporting Actor. And the nominees are... Matt Moulton of the C-47 for the end. Brett Sullivan Fancy of For Man or Beast, for In Through the Nose, Out Through the Mouth. Mike Rake of Shady Acres for the Six. Joseph Folk of the C-47s for the end. First of all, for the C-47s for the end. David Nachman of Camp Custom Productions for Down Home Heart. Caden Kurtz of Lucky Famous Productions for Monkey Business. And Bill Ryan, a draft tape and a player for initiative. It's a big group, but the judges were really impressed. And the winner is... Joseph Falk, the 247, for the end. Of Joe, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, way to go, Joe! And thank you to everybody at the C47, Jeremy, fucking everybody. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be snoring, but uh, thanks to my mom, my dad, and you know my late great agent Deb Doherty, and, and yeah, RTG. Next up, of course, this award comes with the Studio Me Audition Package and the Ensemble to Actor Studio Class. Best Male Leading Actor. And the nominees are... Logan Soland of Conrad Studio for Headcase. Ryan Ott of the C-47 for the end. Jared Jace of Jared Taylor Player for Initiative. Christian Seekings of Lucky Famous Production for Milky Business. And Brad Boyle of Woodland Films for The Water Is Fine. And the winner is, please, a big drum roll for this one. Morgan Thorne, Cameron Freeman, Head Case. Um, I just want to say a few things. Thank you to Conrad and everyone on the production team, cast and crew. You guys were amazing. 
my amazing girlfriend Vinny over there. And then thank you for all of the artists in the room. You inspire me. This was amazing work, and it's just great to be around people that love film as much as me. Thank you. Next up, Best Female Supporting Actor. All right, all right, all right. This also comes with the Studio Me pre-audition video and the Ensemble Actors Studio pre-class. The nominees are Carolyn Zers of Bit Size Productions for Long Live the Larpers. Samantha Fiction of Carnegie Screenwriters for Other Our Plans. Aaron Fulton of Three Beer Lunch for 101 Ways to Kill Your Husband. Evelyn Lewisniak of Your State and a Prayer for Initiative. Greta Capusto of Isle Films for Nexium. Nexium. Whitney Ann Jenkins of The Asylum for Epilogue. And Will Gonzalez of Kappa for The Last Leaf. Okay, all right, all right. Big group, big group. Samantha Fiction, from the Screenwriter. All right, Will, my partner. Competition is fierce. Best female leading actor. Comes with the same prizes Studio Me, Ensemble. And the nominees are Adrian Weir of Three Beer Lunch for 101 Ways to Kill Your Husband. Carolyn Savers of Bit Size Productions for Long Rib Bath Lawson. Haley Holmes of the Film Corps for All of the Bang. Agatha Lima of the Film Corps for All of the Bang. Samantha Ainsworth of Carnegie Screen Ready for What the Clan. Two more. Thank you, Bill. I'm trying to get you ready. Go on, what that land. And Ebony Amoroso of Paper Street Productions for Mind Over Medicine. Ooh, the competition is so fierce. Give me a, give me a big, give me a big. Wonderful women. Incredible performers. The winner is Samantha Ainsworth. Turn it to me, I win. My plan.
Uh, first off, you are only as good as your co-stars. So, um, Cindy and Samantha, you're amazing. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, I wasn't going to do it this year, and Bob texted me at midnight and goes, I couldn't get anybody else. Oh. There was a class. I almost skipped it. Um, I do want to send a huge shout-out to my husband, The Bruce, who puts up with uh, midnight self-tapes and all the classes and all the things. So, thank you to The Bruce. And I cannot even get over it. So, thank you, guys. Thank you. Obviously, in the judges' meeting, the, the judges make the rules. Uh, that's how it works. And um, they told me that we needed another acting award. So they made it. They made it happen. They said, now you will give a Best Acting Ensemble Award. And so we will give it. That's what judges do. They judge. So the nominees for Best Acting Ensemble are... Just pay for the prayer for initiative. Can you get me ready for what I do? This is production for Reverend Harper's. The C47 for the end. And don't you dare forget about Katie Akers for the six. And the winner for Best Acting Ensemble is... Big Five Productions, Liam, Liam, the Rappers. On behalf of the ensemble, fly the color. All right, all right. Our next award is for best directing. I'd like to invite up Kristen Ross Schaefer from Chatham University. What a joy to see everybody who works this evening. I'm Kristen Ross Schaefer. I'm the chair of the Arts, Design, and Communication Department at Chatham University. I'm also the program director for our Film and Digital Technology program. And she's a really good filmmaker. At Chatham, we provide an opportunity for students to develop creative, conceptual, and technical skills across coursework and foster critical awareness of contemporary contemporary media practices. Uh, I teach video production, and I love talking about our program, so I'll be hanging around after this evening. I'm here to present an award for Best Directing this evening. That's right, a $200 award for Best Directing. From Chatham. Yeah. Awesome. And the nominees are? Conrad Farage of Conrad Studios for Head Case. Peter J.S. Regan of Bit Size Productions for Long Live the Lovers. Bill Lyon of Gas Tape and a Prayer for Initiative. Jeremy Mustard of the C47 for the end. And Nathan W. Fullerton of Everything But the Name for Capitalism Win. And the winner is for Best Directing. It is Jeremy Muffet, C47 for the end.
I'm just going to thank the cast again. Um, without them, there's no film. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, all right, all right. We're getting down to it now. We're getting down to it. Um, before we move on to our, our final three big awards, I, I'd like to take a second to change gears and talk about a different award that we give each year called the Legacy Award. The Legacy Award is given to somebody in our group who has been around for a while. Uh, the potential candidates should be a leader with a long history in the Pittsburgh 48 our film project community in Pittsburgh. Someone who exemplifies the best of our community. Someone who makes and participates in many films, including 48-hour films. Someone who is welcoming and uses their knowledge and efforts to help other filmmakers as much as their own filmmaking. Someone who has left a mark on filmmakers in our community that is lasting. And they have to actively be on a team this year. We have special judges for this award who are extremely familiar with our community and are members of our community. This year's judges were myself, former city producer Lance Parkin, who unfortunately, yeah, I love Lance, he could not be with us tonight, and our third judge. Let me introduce to the stage. Weighing in at around 156 pounds, current Legacy Award belt holder, the first Legacy winner, Edwin Huang. Edwin, you've had the belt for a year. How's it been? It's been great. I'm waiting for uh, the next uh, nominee to challenge me at Film of Palooza. No, no. Um, we were going to give it tonight. Well, I wouldn't have voted the way I would if, you, if we were going to wrestle. Oh, you wanted to wrestle? Yeah. I'm not going to wrestle. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, great. So. Hold on, hold on. I'm all excited to do this. Oh, okay, yeah. You want to put down the belt? Or are you you going to hold it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep holding it. Okay. You start. <laughs> great. So, uh, this year's legacy nominees were nominated by members of our community. So, I'd like to introduce this year's Legacy Award nominees now. Carolyn Collins, nominated. <laughs> Carolyn Collins was nominated by Robert Scott and Catherine Smith Cohan. Robert Scott says she is always willing, willing to lend a helping hand and has served as a mentor and a shining example to other writers and filmmakers. Her work with Film Pittsburgh supports independent filmmakers. She is not only a multi-talented artist, but also one of the nicest people you'll meet. Kevin Hania. Nominated by Lydia Zagorski, Matthew Dialis, and Nicholas Lamantia. Nick says, always selfless, Kevin has devoted his filmmaking life to the pursuits of himself and others. He is always a sound voice of reason with an artistic flair. Our next nominee is Stephanie Swift. <laughs> Stephanie was nominated by Chris Seeking. Chris says this, he is about as welcoming as they come. He is humble enough to appear in a student film and talented enough to appear in a film alongside Tom Hanks. And she did. 
He participated in several 48s and is an incredible representative of the Pittsburgh 48 Hour Film Project and independent Pittsburgh filmmaking in general. That's Stephanie Swift. Ian Altenbaugh. He was nominated by Joseph Fucci, who said he participated in the 48 since 2014 and has been a judge as well as a contestant. He works with the youth in our industry at WQED, where he runs the youth and media program. He's nurtured students who now compete in the 48 and helps to grow the community. Ian has always has nice things to say about his fellow filmmakers in the community, and I wholeheartedly believe that there isn't a better, better example of a 48er. Our next nominee is Jacqueline Druga. Jackie was nominated by Michael Barnett and Nicholas Brazili. Michael Barnett says, not only has she been a longtime team leader, she goes out of her way to voice her experience so others can learn from her. She often speaks at 48 meetup events to give newcomers advice so they can avoid pitfalls. Her film team, while dedicated, are also welcoming fun affairs thanks to her leadership. Robert Scott. He was nominated by Carolyn Collins and Minda Briley. Uh, Carolyn says, um, Bob has been a helm of Carnegie Screenwriters since the beginning and has always used that platform to bring people into the business. I remember meeting him for the first time at a Steel Town event, having only won one short script ever. Bob befriended me and invited me to come to see CSW meeting. He was the first person to make me feel like a real writer. And thanks to Bob bringing me into CSW and supporting me, I progressed from writing to producing and developed a filmmaking career. I'm sure that it not have, would, would not have happened without his encouragement and support. All of these nominees are incredible people, and if you haven't met them or you don't know them, I really encourage you to meet all of them because they are uh, they're just like my friends, and they're just incredible people. So please give it up for all the nominees. But we only put one name on the belt a year. We've got room for the second name going on the belt. And the winner is... 2023 Legacy Award goes to Jacqueline Druga. You like me at this moment. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I love the film community. Edwin, it is an honor and a privilege to get this handed down. And, and I'm going to put back down on you this year. Let me just tell you. Thank you so much, PJ, and for 48 Community, and thank you so much. This brings us up to our top three prizes. I'd like to invite up Catherine Fitzcohan from Film Pittsburgh to join me. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Hi, everyone. This is incredible. Like, I can't even... It is so amazing to be in a room with this many filmmakers from Pittsburgh or close by. So um, keep doing what you're doing. It's really impressive. 
And um, if you don't know Film Pittsburgh, please check us out. We do four film festivals a year. We want your submissions. We want to show your films. We show films from all over the world, but we're most proud of the films we show from Pittsburgh. So, without further ado. All right. So, the winner of this competition will be Pittsburgh's representative to Filmapalooza. Filmapalooza is the gathering point for all 48-hour film project winners, next being held in Lisbon, Portugal. So, whoever wins this, that team will go to Portugal and represent us. The nominees for Best Film are... Oh, the C-47 for the end. Big size production for Long Live the Lopers. Conrad Studio for Head Case. Everything but the name for capitalism wins. And just keep it a prayer for initiative. We will first announce the second runner up, which is third place. The second runner up comes with a $200 cash prize from me. Don't melt fudge production. And the winner of third place, the second runner up for best film in Pittsburgh is Long Live the Larfers. All right, I'll take this last microphone uh, opportunity to say one more giant thank you to the frankly ridiculous casting crew we had this year. Uh, you guys were awesome. You guys were troopers. I hope you are proud of this. And a preemptive congratulations to whoever's repping us in Filmapalooza. Pittsburgh's behind you. Go get them. This award comes with a $200 and one penny cash prize from Film Pittsburgh. <laughs> and the winner is for second place, runner up, the end, the C47. I'm going to echo what uh, Long Live the Warpers said. Please represent us well, whoever wins. Uh, I want to thank three people. My mom is here. She drove five hours to watch us. Thanks. So thank you, man. My son is not here. He's too young to understand this at all, but he inspires me every single day. And last but not least, my beautiful wife, Angela. Her support is everything to me. And this weekend's our 10 year anniversary, so. Happy anniversary, Angela. I love you. There are, there are two pennies in this one. This comes with a $200 and two pennies 
cash prize. Care of Film Pittsburgh. Come from Film Pittsburgh. We'll read it together. Please, could I have a full lap drum roll? And the winner of this film of Pittsburgh 48 for 2023 is Conrad Studios for Crazy! Oh my God! Um, I was not expecting this whatsoever. I was already like drinking, ready for the after party and everything. I re- oh God! Uh, this is terrifying. Um, I really was not expecting this, and I'll tell you why. Pittsburgh brought some of the best films I have ever seen this year, and I went to see every single screening. I saw all 51 movies, and I consider myself a film fan first and a filmmaker second. So you all should be very, very proud of the caliber of movies that you brought to this town. Thank you. Um, I want to thank my amazing, amazing team, Congress Series, all you guys, all you crazy people. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much, the cast and crew. This was also the first film that I edited and directed, which was kind of insane. Uh, so special thanks to Jason and Dave for keeping me awake with snacks and caffeine all through the night. So thank you so much. And uh, well, lastly, um, I want to thank, well, I want to thank also my, my supportive mother who puts up with, with my crazy ideas all the time. When I told her I was going to, you know, we're going to do this crazy uh, head exploding thing, she was like, what are you talking about? Uh, but I guess it worked out. So thank you, Mom. I know you're watching on the live stream. Um, and, and lastly, I want to thank uh, someone very special, someone uh, who kind of motivated me to do the 48-hour film project, and that's Mr. Brian Bowers, who was the, the producer of, of the 48 in Cleveland, who passed away last month. Um, and I want to dedicate this in his incredible memory. He was a dear friend of ours, and I miss him very, very much. I can't wait to represent Pittsburgh next year. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Let's just take a moment to give it up one more time for PJ Gaynard. Oh, oh Nick, Nick Grizzly, you have an important announcement. I reached out on our WhatsApp group to uh, the team leaders and ask if anybody would like to pitch in for something for you. And we collected a little bit of money, and uh, we would like to present you with two gift cards to help you reduce some of the stress of being a producer of this film. The first one is for an hour massage. <laughs> and, if, and if massage is not your thing for um, reducing stress, we also got you a uh, uh, celebrity float tank. TJ, everybody. Thank you guys so much. This year has been really, really incredible. I, I, I did everything I could to, you know, raise it up to as, as a level of, of I know that you, you deserve. So I, I really appreciate this. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, I just have three final things to tell you. First of all, to our winning film, Conrad Studios, I challenge you to go to Filmapalooza and bring back what you learned to our community. 
through a video or through some other means, bring it back here so that all of us end up stronger because we are stronger together. I believe that. Next, if you haven't had enough, it is happening again. Go to the next slide. Go to the next slide. Yes, it is happening again. The 48 hour film science fiction horror project is happening this fall. You can see some details on the screen, and there will be more details released soon. And finally, as we wrap up our evening, I hope to see you across the street at Carnivores as soon as we wrap. Go over there, grab a drink, hang out. Thank you all so much for a great 48 hour film project experience. Thank you.